Hello, and in this video, you'll learn how to make this fully interactive and mobile responsive component. Without further ado, let's begin. Alright, so here we have our basic Vite app. The first thing we can do is, as always, go to our source folder and then into components. In here, we can create a new active slider .gsx file. And in here, run RAFC. As always, if you can't do that, you can go to extensions and install this extension. Next thing we can do is go back to our file and folder structure, go into app.jsx and import the active slider. Next, we'll make our imports and installations. For that, we can go to view and terminal and in here run npm install swiper for the swiper component and animation and also we'll need to install some logos, which will be react-icons. Once that is done, you can run npm run dev to run the app and straight away open it by going to localhost 5173. Next, we'll need to go back and close the terminal and make all the imports. First of all, we'll need to import swiper and swiper slide. This will be coming from swiper slash react next we'll need to import swiper slash css next import swiper slash css slash pagination and import swiper slash css slash free dash mode also we'll need to import free mode and pagination which will be coming from swiper slash modules. Also want to import rx arrow top right, which will be coming from react dash icons slash rx. And these are actually all the imports for now. And now we can move on into our JSX. No JavaScript in this project. So we can give it class name to the main div of flex items dash center justify dash center flex dash call h dash screen and bg dash hash 6c34af. Don't forget to put a comma here and we can continue. We can say free mode equals true. Pagination of clickable true. Next, we can add the modules, which will be an array of free mode and pagination. Also, we can add a final class name of max dash w dash 90% of the screen. And on large devices, this will be max dash w dash 80% of the screen. Now, as we'll have six cards in this video, it will be much better to create an array separately with all the data and simply map through it in this component. For this, we can go into our source folder and create a constants folder. In here, you can create an index.js and paste this in it. I'll link this in the description down below. What this is is essentially some imports of icons, some images, and some titles with text. That is all. So simply an array with some objects. So now we can go back into our app and map through it. We can go inside of our swiper and say service data, which will import from constants dot map, take each separate item and make an instant return. And this will return a swiper slide. As this is a map, each item needs its own key. So we can say the key equals item dot title. In here, we'll have a div with quite a lot of class names. So let's make them all. First of all, flex, flex dash call and the gap dash six. Next, we need to group everything together. Say relative shadow dash LG text dash white, rounded dash Excel, 
padding x dash six, padding y dash eight, h dash two hundred and fifty pixels, a width of 215 pixels on large devices. This will be a height of 400 pixels. And also on large devices, this will be a width of 350 pixels. Now, if you go back to the app and look, you can actually see the slider and these small cards inside of it. So everything is working. Next, we can make the background image. So we can say div, Class name, absolute, inset dash zero, bg dash cover, and bg dash center. Also, we can say style, say background image, template string, URL, and item dot background image. So now we can go back make this a self-closing div, add another self-closing div, and give it a class name of absolute inset dash zero, bg dash black, opacity dash 10, group dash hover, and opacity dash 50. This will be the shadow background. So as you can see, this works perfectly. Also, while we're here, we can add a cursor dash pointer to the main div. So it works like this. So now we can finally add the text and the icons. Under here, we can say div, give it a class name of a relative, flex, flex dash call and gap dash three. Next, we can go under here and add a self-closing div of item dot icon. This will have a class name of text dash blue dash 600 group dash hover text dash blue dash 400 w dash 32 pixels and h dash 32 pixels. Under here, we can have an h1, which will have a class name of text dash XL and LG text dash 2XL. This will have item dot title. Also under here, we can have a P tag, which will have a class name of LG text dash 18 pixels. This will render the item dot content. If we look back, what we'll see is almost everything is ready. The title, the text and the icon are there and the scrolling functionality is working perfectly. Next, we can actually go under this div and say rx arrow top right and give it a class name of absolute bottom dash five and left dash five w dash 35 pixels and h dash 35 pixels text dash white group dash hover text dash blue dash 500 and also on group dash hover we can rotate dash 45 degrees and give it a duration of 100. Now if we look at this as you can see we have these arrows everywhere and when we hover they turn blue and turn to the right just as we intended. Now we can make some small tweaks First of all, we can go over here into this wrapper div and add a margin bottom of 20 and also add the title and description to the top of the page. So as you can see, these circles move down, by the way, they are clickable and we are done with the app. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you.